Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be game six between Zeke and DeWalt from Fighting Spirit Mania round three. This is going to see potentially who takes the first set. Zeke one game away from clearing it out and kind of doing that one chalkboard tech. It's kind of how I visualize it. These guys, this is what I'd like to see. Uh, I, I just visualize it in my head is both these guys are like intense playing and each of them have a chalkboard and a piece of chalk like next to their computer. And as soon as they win the game, it's like tech. And as soon as they get the, the set, like, you know, circle or whatever, and they're just, like, you know, doing that back and forth thing like that. I think that's a fun visual, at least. Overlord looks like it's going to get that initial scout on DeWalt. DeWalt, yellow Protoss in the upper right-hand corner. By the way, Ziki, upper left-hand corner as the Zerg. Let's see if he opens up nine pool once again, or if he's going to mix it up this time. DeWalt planting that pylon down. He should be able to pull off the scouting the Overlord trick this time. With this probe scout. Let's see if he moves it interior. Or if he's just going to. No it looks like he's actually just going to stick path this time. And. Uh, is just going to be able to get first scout off. We are seeing a nine pool. And I'm wondering if this is going to provoke a forge. From DeWalt. Getting early probes in for DeWalt. He's. Ooh. Actually even being a little bit sneaky. Is he going to go for something sneaky? So this is high level stuff. So the creep cannot spot, oops, not what I wanted to do. The creep can't spot the probe. And so he actually held up short briefly there. And I think he debated it. Debated being aggressive, but then uh, wanted to see the pool location instead. So wandered in. This is actually a good placement for the pool, actually, now that I think about it. So something I learned today, I guess. If you put the pool back here, you kind of prevent that from happening. Where, Because, yeah, you got to force the scout, right? So it's kind of like a defensive, a little bit of a defense just where you're placing it. Probe trying to get annoying. Taking a good amount of damage. Some nice micro there by Zeke. Probe actually taking some base damage. The Overlord Scout finds the Forge. Sees the initial cannon. And does need to angle so it doesn't end up getting taken out. Six Zerglings in production. And the drone going to go ahead. It looks like it was initially moving to the 9 o'clock location. Because it didn't want to get harassed right there. But instead going to go ahead and drop that 9 o'clock expansion. Try to keep that in mind. I wonder if that is the case or the logic behind that for Zeke. But anyway. Probe Scout, going to go ahead and back out, try to return to home base, and also delay these Zerglings to buy some time. Nexus is behind this, and we'll see if additional probes come off the line to go ahead and prevent. No, it's actually the probe going to pull back, re-engage. Oh, this is going to be close. So, going to drop the gateway, but some additional probes do need to come off to help defend to potentially prevent a run by. The Zerglings looking to dive that gap. Seeing the probes there and taking the two shots, and this is pretty nice wall. I think that's only like a single probe gap right there. Uh, or single zealot gap. Probe now wandering up to the 9 o'clock location, looking to create some havoc there. The Zerglings in route to potentially wipe that out. Actually, I wonder if DeWalt was even going to put down a pylon. Maybe delay this a little bit more. It looks like he's not going to opt that. Just wants to go ahead and harass there. But this probe, yeah, definitely going to lose its life. Well, maybe not. Does manage to sneak out. Zeke going to go ahead and grab that. But a bit of a delay on that hatchery. So nice play there. And a second probe moving out. Absolutely wants to keep eyes on what Zeke's doing. I think we're going to see... No, we are going to see early Hydra list then. So three hatch Hydra. Potentially some sort of something build. 9-7 whatever. Currently we have the initial nine drones. So we'll try to look at the count from here. But the Hydra list then has been scouted. Which means Zeke is going to have to play a little bit more. Basically, DeWalt's going to is showing, hey, I got eyes. So maybe you should fold that back to four hatcheries rather than just sticking to the to the three, uh, any sort of three hatch pressure on the front door. We'll see how Zeke plays it. First Zealot marching his way across the map. Overlord scouts it. Zergling actually kind of trailing it. And let's see, uh, there's still some Zerglings out in the field. These Zerglings should, yeah, easily be able to handle that. Looks like that probe's still alive. Hydro speed being upgraded, so it looks like Zeke still makes one, uh, still wants to make a run at this. This is going to be five drones to the natural expansion. Still no drone, the hatchery's still not up at the nine o'clock location. The Zealot, this is what DeWalt's amazing at. He's really good at just hiding his units out on the minimap. Zeke was looking to engage, but DeWalt able to end around. And this probe has been alive forever. It is battle weary, but still a hero. Gotten all, first of all, scouted the Hydralis then. 
But additionally, just got all sorts of scouting information behind that just to allow this to happen. We got two additional photon cannons and a robotics facility right there on the front door edge. Level 1 weapons is being upgraded. I'm curious to see what's happening there. A single drone being scouted at that 9 o'clock base. The Zerglings completely... Look at these. These Zerglings have no clue like where anything is on the map. Shows you DeWalt's map movement skills right there. But uh, early robotics facility on the front, and it looks like we are going to see Reaver play. I like it, particularly considering that there was no Spire. Probe finally wiped out. I love it. And uh, this is a bit of a different defense that'll allow fewer cannons potentially on the front, and Hydralisks get absolutely obliterated by Reavers. And with def decent shuttle micro, that also opens up some harassment opportunity. That is going to force Zeki... He is going to need to get a Spire to contend with this. Looks like range is being upgraded. We have, it looks like seven, well, six drones. Fourth hatchery already being planted. So no, not exactly a 973, but the high, enough hydros being produced to potentially try to take out this forge on the front. But honestly, I don't know that they're going to be able to, if DeWalt plays this just right, he's going to get a lot of hydrolis kills on the front. So four cannons and kind of an interesting star formation along the left. Looks like they're going to dive in. Are they going for this? Are you kidding me? Poking away. One cannon down. Now backing up to try to poke away at that forge. But the Reaver behind here. Does Zeke see it? Zeke does not see the Reaver. But there's that initial shot. One Hydralisk down. A lot of damage on the rest of them. Second shot moving out. And what was going on with that shot? Is he going to lose? Oh, that's unfortunate. That he ends up losing the forge and level one weapons. When it could have been protected with better Reaver Scarabs. If, they're, if the Reaver Scarabs were just a little bit, weren't quite so dud, that would have been a save. But nevertheless, this front door is going to be held. Second Reaver being produced. And I kind of like the option to go for Reaver. A lot of people were calling for this in the 973 era. It's like, get, yeah, go Reaver, guys. That is going to... So we got Lair upgrading, but an Evolution Chamber down. A fifth hatchery. At the 9 o'clock location, more Hydralisks making their way out. And Sneaky just going to go ahead and pocket these troops at the 12 o'clock location, potentially to engage a shuttle. Should it make its way out? We do. I don't think we have shuttle speed upgrading. It looks like the Zelt leg speed is upgrading. So we're going to see the Reaver variation of PVZ at this stage. So now, six Zealots hanging out. Second gas being grabbed. Lair is online. I'm, I would not be shocked to see Zeke go ahead and plant down his Spire. Just to have that option. As soon as those Meatlisks are out in the air, shuttles... So High Templar are hard to defend. Shuttles are also hard to defend. And right now, there is no Stargate for DeWalt. Which could be trouble down the line. Templar Archive is also being grabbed. But as he's moving out... He's got a lot of Zealots and a lot of Reavers. And there is it's going to be a long time before there's Mutalisks to support these Hydralisks. But DeWalt does need to protect this shuttle. Because if this shuttle gets harassed and picked off, Reavers on the ground. And actually, we got some Hydralisks coming in potentially from the rear. We'll see how this attack plays out. Sunken Colony being dropped. Reaver being dropped as well. And the Hydralisks, only a single... Hydralisk getting killed right there. The Hydralisk coming, trying to come in from behind. The Zealot blockading them. The Zealot's moving up otherwise. That shuttle has been taken out. That's going to leave these Reavers on the ground. One Reaver taken out. The second Reaver looks like it's going to get taken out as well. And oof. Yeah, it's really hard to defend that shuttle. And now there's just, looks like three Zealots that are easily going to get, easily going to get cleaned up. More Zealots marching their way across the map. That was a big investment that did not pay off. The Zealot actually able to get into the main here. The drone's just going to group up. Battle drones take out that Zealot. Looks like only one of them getting taken out, but a lot of Zealots streaming in, continuing to apply that pressure. Level 1 weapons still not online, but Zealot leg speed is there. The Hydralisk is going to go ahead and back up, try to get the ramp advantage. And now Mutalisks in production. And the Mutalisks are going to be a double threat here. First of all, they're going to be able to potentially clean up DeWalt's attack. Looks like Zeke actually a little bit low on drones after all of this. More Zealots marching out. DeWalt just keeping that pressure up. Drones actually completely evacuating the main at this stage. The Zealots working on the Spire. 
And that would be a big takedown, which would be dual purpose. So Mutalis engaging there. Mutalis also engaging at the main. And this Spire is going to be really close to being taken out. The Zealots about two or three shots away from wiping that out. So Zeke just migrating the drones back and forth. Dwalt doing a lot of economic harass in the meantime, but the Mutalisks are in the air. There's cannons defending the natural expansion, cannons def defending the main, but no other form of air control aside from this Archon. And Zeke with Micro. Yeah, it looks like he's able to punish that. An Archon moving in. Zeke is one of those. Oh, takes a big shot there. He is one of those players that does have the micro to micro against that Archon. Another Reaver on the front. And now DeWalt needs to shell up and buy time. A couple free ca cannon hits. Looks like Zeke's still trying to press this. Still poking away at that Archon. Takes another big shot. Now keep in mind, every Archon shot that lands, it grabs a... It hits every single Mutalisk in that ball. So three Mutalisks left. Zeke spending a lot... Of troops, but right now rebuilding mutalisks, building a lot of hydralisks. So potentially going to go try to follow this up with a bust. And DeWalt is somewhat light on troops right now. He's got two reavers, which could be mutalisk fodder, a dragoon, three zealots, no archon. And these mutalisks still looking to harass this back line, taking some free cannon shots. Ziki grouped up, making sure that the third hasn't been grabbed. In the meantime, in DeWalt's base, we got. Six gateways. Observatory is there. And a shuttle being built. So it's going to be a Dragoon Reaver attack force to potentially move out. Mulus mostly providing scouting information at this stage. Kind of wandering out, looking for... Keep in mind, these are shuttle killers at this stage. That's enough Dragoons that... Should be able to press them back. But Zeke really powered drone in the... Just pushed the drone count. He's now leading economically. In the red, as Zeke's moving out, the Mutalisks looking to try to pick off that shuttle. The Dragoons body blocking another Overlord taken out. Now does Zeke have the troops to defend this? He does have level 1 weapons there. And Dragoons don't trade particularly well against Hydralis. The Mutalist diving in, trying to take that shuttle out. The shuttle evacuating the, the Reavers already. The Mutalists have managed to pick off that shuttle. But the Reavers can still do a long-range attack. Still trying to pick off those Reavers. And now DeWalt slow walking. Trying to get in from the rear. But some nice Scarabs there. Devastating the Hydralisk line. Coming in from the other angle. The Mutalists diving in. The Reaver still stands. Two Sunken Colonies are gone. One of the Reavers down. And now the Dragoons having a field day. And Zeke calling GG. What a play by DeWalt. Fantastic. Series is going to be tied up 3-3. And we're going to go into Game 7. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.